Hi guys, this is Jimmy from Spin Retro. Um, today I'm going to show you how to get started uh, with Retroid OS or Retroid App Launcher. Uh, it may be confusing at first. Um, the whole system, the operating system is running on Android, but you can install this Retroid OS app um, where it launches into their own closed system where you can access all the pre-installed ROMs and access their own market and download more ROMs through their market. So uh, when you first um, get the device, um, open up the app drawer, scroll all the way down, and find this app called Toolbox. So in here, there is a menu called Install Retroid Pocket App. Click this. And of course, I already installed it. So, um, but if you don't have it installed, it'll install the app for you. So once it's installed, it creates this icon. And I will show you how to get started on the Android system as, as well on part two. So um, check out that video when it uh, uploads. So um, let's go to Retroid Pocket app. So here we are at the Retroid Pocket app. Um, the first thing you want to do is set up Wi-Fi. So to do that, uh, hold down home to access the settings. Go to handheld settings. Go to Wi-Fi. And choose connect Wi-Fi network. And this is where you set the Wi-Fi. Uh, as you can see, I've, I already have it connected. So I'm going to press Y to go back. And uh, I'll also show you how to connect the Bluetooth controller. So click Bluetooth, connect Bluetooth, Bluetooth devices, and I have uh, a Bluetooth controller here. So let me just turn it on and turn on the scan mode. We enter the menu, refresh. Okay, so now press A to connect. Now it's connected. So next, um, to adjust the volume, simply use the volume buttons to adjust the volume. If you want to adjust the brightness, hold down start and then use the volume buttons. Okay, so in order to navigate between different systems, uh, choose Category tab here. You can also press L and R buttons to navigate between the tabs and then go down once. And if you go left and right, you can choose a different system here. Now, um, there is no way to skip forward like 10 games down. You have to select one by one. So. This is a little annoying. I hope they uh, fix it from the next firmware update. And uh, I also do want to mention that uh, some of these titles are not transla translated properly. Um, these that you're seeing right now, they are translated properly, but there are some games that are not translated properly. So it might be some, it might be hard to find uh, the specific game that you're looking for. Um, just go over to search and try to search up the a game name. If you can find it, you would have to manually find it from the list. Okay, so now to enter a game, choose a game that you want to play and press A. To access the emulator menu, press home and here you can continue game, exit game, save and load. Press X to save. You can press Y to load. Unfortunately, the in-game saves don't work. If you want to save this uh, progress, uh, you, you only have to rely on their emulator save state and load state. So to exit a game, uh, press home again and then press B. And there are also games that you can't even save at all. So that's Tekken 3. So let me launch Tekken 3.
when you press home, you don't get any safe state, low state choice. So, what does that mean for all of us?、Um, this Retroid Pocket app should be used for casual play.、Um, if you have、um, an arcade game that you want to play, this is a perfect choice.、Uh, so, next,、uh, to access their market, press X and make sure you're connected to Wi Fi. And you can go to popular chart or go to category and choose a system that you want to download. So I'll choose N64. And let's try downloading Super Smash Bros. Okay, so the game is finished downloading and it's trying to install it.、Um, you can go to task management and you can see what's being downloaded in here in progress tab. It has finished downloading, so it moved over to completed. And this is where you can find your downloaded ROMs. You can find this game、um, right from the menu,、uh, from the game selection, or you can find the game from here. So, next,、uh, to delete the game,、uh, press down home to access the settings. Go to enter game settings. And go to delete game. And find the game that you want to delete. Click A and you know, press A to continue.、Um, if you want to.、Uh, Add your own ROMs、uh, using the、uh, SD card, using the directory.、Um, if you want to manually add the games, you can at Retroid OS. So、um, I will first show you how to add it and then access it from here. So、um, open up your games folder within the SD card and、uh, I'll show you、um, how the games folder looks like. So, this is what the games folder looks like. You have games store, data, download folder, and you have data key and game list Excel file. So, data key file is important, important and do not delete this in order to access the、uh, Retroid OS or Retroid App Launcher.、Um, download folder is where you want to put your external ROMs. So, you have, if you have ROMs、uh, of your own, In what, whether it be a zip file or GB file, GBA file, just put it in, in here from your computer, of course,、um, and you can access this from the Retroid OS. So once you add the games into the download folder,、um, go to external games management. I don't have any games here, but、um, should the game be here, you can select the game and then click A to add to menu. And you have to select the core that you're using, whether if it's a GBA game, then you have to select GBA.、Uh, and if it's an arcade game, you just have to select the arcade.、Um, next, um, in order to change the key mapping for player one, player two, you can go to key settings. And let me connect this Bluetooth controller. Gamepad connected. So go under, go under gamepad settings, and here you can change player one, player two, player three, player four, and press A to redefine gamepad keys. So you can map button A. To this one, button B, to that one, and once this is set, you have to re plug the gamepad so、um, you can、uh, turn it off and turn it back on. 
And that's how you enable multiple Bluetooth controller uh, onto Retroid Pocket OS. Okay, so this was the beginner's guide on how to use the Retroid Pocket OS. Um, I will have another video uh, guiding you how to use uh, this system on Android. But this OS is perfectly fine, capable of playing any games, pick up and play, easy. You can download the ROMs from straight from their market. You don't have to worry about putting the games into the SD card and running it, configuring all the emulators. This is already configured it for you. Um, but the caveat is you can't uh, use in-game states and all the safe state, low state is not available for all games. Uh, and also um, you can easily overwrite an existing safe state. So that's a little unfortunate. Uh, but I hope that the company uh, may update this firmware and they did say they will continue to update this uh, marketplace and also the firmware. So um, we're not out of luck. Uh, so this was the beginner's guide to the Red Trade Pocket OS. If you have any, any other questions, let me know uh, in the comment section below and leave like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And uh, as always, Thank you for watching. Bye.